Finally, some real big news on One UI 7 for our beloved Samsung phones. Me personally, I already have One UI 7 Beta 6 on the S24 Ultra, but there are a lot of people staying on One UI 6.1, and this is the easiest way, believe it or not, to get to One UI 7. I'm, I'm gonna show in this video how, and yes, disclaimer, it's not going to be so straightforward. Again, it's also not gonna be rocket science, guys, but first, the news. So, in April, S24 Plus Ultra Z Fold 6 Flip, guys, they will get the One UI 7 S24 FE as well, the Tab S10, and even the Z Fold Flip 5. And yes, S23 Ultra should also get One UI 7 stable in April. Then in May, we have everything else. This is S21 Plus Ultra, all the galaxies there, and S22, S22 Plus. And then in June, guys, yeah, who is gonna wait until June? But guys, it's tricky. Let me explain why. Now, I'm using One UI 7 Beta 6 on my S24 Ultra. In general, I'm really happy, but I had to sideload it, which means I'm not officially a member of the Samsung Update or Samsung Beta program. But if you are a member of the official Samsung Beta program, you just need to leave the program and then boom, hopefully you're going to get it OTA. But guys, right now, the fastest route to One UI 7 Beta on S24 is the following. You need to go back to One UI 6.1, which I know is not ideal because when you go from One UI 7 Beta to One UI 6.1 stable using Odin, because there are not so many other ways, you're gonna lose, you're gonna have to factory reset your device, lose all your old data. To make it even more complex, guys, you need to be on the firmware AYB7 that right now is only released with the following CSCs, which is yet another complication because if you do have an EUX phone like I have or a non-supported CSC here, you have to either wait or then yeah, do some other trickery, you know, like change your CSC, you can use some for, for that or, you know, just go, there, are, there are options there. But what I'm saying is that you need to go back to 1.6.1 AYB7 and then download the update file BYCJ and then you can site load that one via ADB very easily. Right now there are not many options guys and if you're like me, if you're stuck on the One UI 7 Beta 6 which is the one that I'm using right now, the ZYCE, then we just have to wait guys. Yeah, this is it. I'm using the ZYCE and I have to wait. So hopefully Samsung are going to push an update. Uh, people will get it anyway, OTA, that were already registered in the program. For everybody else, we need to wait until they release this and then we can sideload it. Don't have to go back to One UI 6.1. But if you're crazy about One UI 7 stable, you really want to do it right now, guys. Erase your device, go back to One UI 6.1, AYB7. You can download um, the firmware here from samfw.com and then yes sideload the stable one ui7 guys let me know what thing down below in the comments i think it's about time we all get a one ui7 right all right stay safe est over and bye